One reason to use a task manager like TickTick is so that you can keep track of things that you've accomplished. TickTick gives us the completed view, which gives us some basic functionality to track our completed tasks. But one thing you'll notice is that unless you're a premium member, you're going to lose out on some of the filtering functionality. In today's video, I'm going to show you another approach that I've been considering taking, which is using a weekly log. I'll also share with you a somewhat secret feature within TickTick that makes tracking your completed tasks in this manner very easy. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so if we're in TickTick and we want to know what tasks we've completed or maybe what we accomplished in the previous week, one option TickTick gives us is the completed view. So if you look down on the left side, down towards the bottom is the completed view. This view kind of gives you a basic functionality to see completed tasks. It sorts it in descending order. So your most recent completion will be at the top. Uh, so it's going to give you the date that it was completed. So my most recent completion is Friday, December 3rd. It also lists the task and the project it was a part of and puts the color of the project also on the task. You can click on the task and it will bring up any description or details that were a part of that task at the time that it was completed. And so this is pretty good for basic functionality. One thing you'll notice is up towards the top, there are some options to filter. So let's say we want to filter just on a specific list. If we don't have premium, we can't do that. So I'm going to X out of that. Another option is if we just want to look at a certain date range. So if we're kind of uh, keying in on last week, we could use this uh, dates filter. Again, if we don't have premium, that puts a stop to that. So what we get as a free user is just some basic functionality of a list of completed tasks. So one idea that I've been thinking about is maybe creating a new list over here and calling it weekly log. And the type of list would be a note list, not a task list. And let me just drag this down towards the bottom. I want this to be at the bottom of my lists of lists. And I would just add a new entry each week. So for last week, Friday was the fourth, so I would put in a new note. I would use Friday's date because that's usually when I do my weekly review, and that's when I would create this weekly log as well. And so from here, I could create um, a little bit of a log of what happened. So one option would be what meetings happened. Maybe I also want to take down uh, key decisions that were made during last week. And maybe I want to have completed tasks. So if I use this format, I get a little more detail about what happened in the last week rather than just a list of tasks. So for meetings, um, let's say, I had the stand-up call on Monday for Project Titan. Maybe I met with the manager to discuss next quarter's goals. Met with Roger on Friday about the new project. And maybe another detail about the meeting with Roger is that uh, we discussed his family also. His wife uh, is starting a new job. So that provides some context about what's going on as far as meetings go for last week. Maybe we also had some key decisions that were made. So maybe um, we decided to move forward with Project Titan, even though Tim has resigned. So there again, we would be keeping a log of context of what happened in the week, not just the completed tasks. But we may also want to know the completed tasks. And one option again is to go back to the completed view and try and copy and paste or maybe pull it up side by side and copy over the completed tasks into this note. But another option is I discovered kind of a secret feature of TickTick 
Uh, so if you click the three dots down here and you say insert task summary, this gives you a list of completed tasks. And you'll notice the first option up here on the left is a date filter. Now when we were in the completed view, you had to be a premium member in order to filter by date. But here, uh, by default, it's on this week, but I can select last week. Even though I'm a free member, I can filter by date. So I could filter uh, for this month, for last month, or I can select a custom date range. So that's cool. I'm going to leave it as last week because that's what I'm focusing on for this weekly log. You'll also notice by default, it kind of sorts it by a completed heading and an undone heading. So the undone are tasks that had a uh, due date of last week, but remain unchecked. Another thing that we saw on the completed view was that we were unable to filter on lists. But here again, in this task summary view, we can filter on lists, even though we're a free member. Um, so right now we're filtered on work tasks only. And let's say I want to filter even further and let's say I don't want any admin tasks. I just want to look at Project Blue and Project Titan for this particular weekly log. I can filter on that. Another thing I can filter on, which is additional functionality than the completed view gives us, is uh, by tag. So right now I'm on all tags, but let's say um, maybe in the undone section, I have some tasks that were I had tagged as waiting. And I don't want to count those as undone because I was waiting on somebody else. So I'm going to mark this as no tags. And that would take off any tasks that I had that were tagged as waiting. Another thing that we can do in this task summary view is we can change the sort. So we saw by default it's sorted by completion status, but maybe we want to sort by list. And so this sorts it with the heading of our projects. So here I see Project Blue as a heading and the tasks that were completed under it. Project Titan has some completed tasks, but I also see that some tasks were left undone for Project Titan. So let's see what other sorting options we have up here. We could also sort by completion date, uh, by task date, by priority, or by assignee. And let's take a look at this icon to the furthest right. This allows us to change what details we see for each task. And this changes based on the sort that you've chosen. So for this particular sort, we see the completion date, the progress, and the detail. But let's say we also wanted to see the list. We can just check list, press OK. And now we see the, the list that that task was a part of as part of this task summary. So that's pretty cool. I think there's a lot of good functionality in here. I think there's a lot of cool options. And again, you don't have to be a premium member to use any of these. Um, once you're done, you like what you see, you can hit the insert button. And so that'll insert it right into your weekly log. And so now you have a note that has everything that happened in the previous week, right? You have your meetings that happened, you have any key decisions that happened, and you have your completed tasks. And if it were me, I might delete this. I don't want that heading in there. I know it's this week because it's my weekly log. And here I can see my completed tasks and I can also see the tasks that were left undone for the previous week. And so the weekly log might be a good way for you to keep track of everything that happened in a particular week. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. We've taken a look at TickTick's completed view. I've shown you the uh, weekly log that I'm considering using to track my weekly progress. And I've also shown you the task summary that makes tracking your completed tasks very easy. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good one.